Hi, welcome to I Love Cooking with Lucy. I'm Lucy. Today we're making cream of mushroom soup. It's thick, it's rich, it's delicious, and it really isn't that hard or take that long. I have started with about six pounds of mushrooms. I've already sauteed and put aside four and a half pounds. I'm gonna use this to thicken the sauce, to thicken the soup. So it's not super fattening. I mean, it's got a decent amount of butter in it, but not a lot of cream which is where you get a lot of the calories from. I've cut these up, and I've cut these up smaller because these are the mushrooms I'm gonna to use to not puree and be in the soup when you eat it. Uh, we're gonna start by sauteing these. So I've got two tablespoons of butter in a medium heat pan. I'm gonna put this in. You can see the pan, I've already used it for these other mushrooms. I'm gonna put in a drop or two of olive oil. And the reason I do that, if you're cooking with butter, butter has a very uh, low smoke point. It'll burn at a higher temperature quicker than olive oil will. So whenever I cook with butter, I put a little oil in it, it stops it from burning. I'm gonna stir this around. Get hot. Put these mushrooms in. Stir them up. And you see, pretty soon, it won't take long, they will cook and let out all their moisture. Remember that. Salt helps them to do that. A little salt. And I've got some, a little bit of thyme, fresh thyme. And I did that to all of the batches. Just a little thyme. Let that come to heat, cover it. While that's doing that, I'll lower just a tad. I can start on the soup itself. So, hot pot. I'm going to use, where's my butter? Four tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna make a roux. And a roux is equal parts of butter and flour. So I'm using four tablespoons of butter, and it will be four tablespoons of flour. But I also want to have some shallots in here. So, and again, I can put a drop of olive oil so that this butter won't burn. Not too much. When you cut shallots, pretty easy to uh, dice them or really fine. So you've got a whole shallot. This is a pretty big shallot. I'm using two of these. And you would slice it this way. Like I showed you the onion in the last video or the video before. Slice it this way. And then you get a nice fine dice. I've already cut up a smaller one, so I don't really need all of that. But that's how you dice a shallot. Okay. The onion is melting. The uh, butter's melting. I'm going to put my shallots in. Let them soften. on a medium heat. Salt. Pepper. And I'll adjust these seasonings later after the soup is cooked. See if it needs any more. More time. Just let those shallots soften. Let's check the mushrooms. Come along, not quite there yet. You see some of them are starting to soften. These smell really good. Okay, they're 
coming along, we're softening. Now I'm gonna add four tablespoons of flour to match the four tablespoons of butter. And what you're making is a roux, and a roux is a thickening agent. You can see it gets pretty thick. Let that cook for just a minute. You want to get the flour flavor out of it. If you uh, don't let this brown a little bit, cook for a minute or two, your dish will just taste like raw flour. That's pretty good. I'm going to be using 64, uh, so eight cups of vegetable stock right in. And thank you, my helper Nick. I'm going to use just half of this and see if I need more at the end. Maybe a little more time. And salt. Now these are really starting to soften and you can see all of the liquid that is coming out of them. Mushrooms have a lot of liquid. Okay, they're coming along. These are ready to go. Um, I'll come back when the mushrooms are done and we'll take it from there. Be right back. Hi, we're going to backtrack just a minute because I forgot to talk about the actual mushrooms. I'm using all white mushrooms for this, and when you get them, you don't wash mushrooms, and any brown that you see on them isn't dirt, it's just the inside of other mushrooms. So you just wipe them off with a wet towel. I trim off the end a little bit, sometimes it's kind of hard, and just slice them. Pretty simple. I've got one more batch here that I'm going to do, and I'll use this to uh, add it to what I'm going to thicken the sauce with. So just, again, a little butter, a little olive oil. While these are frying, um, we're ready to put these mushrooms in the soup. So, gotta let it go first. Let me just put these in. we got our soup base. It was the roux, butter flour, the shallots. Um, now we're ready for the mushrooms. I'm going to add all of these in. And that's the juice that is left over in the pan. I want that in there also. A lot of flavor in that. A lot of mushroom flavor. these mushrooms cook and we'll be right back and we're back so our soup is done I've got all of the mushrooms that I sauteed earlier put them in the stock you can look in here now I'm gonna emulsify them and thicken the soup with the mushrooms that I put in if you don't have an emulsifier you don't have to go get one you can just take scoop spoonfuls of these big ladlefuls in a blender and blend it that way and that'll work just fine. I just happen to have this. And this is gonna thicken the soup with the mushrooms. We're gonna do this until they're gone, until it's emulsified. take a minute so Nick's arms are getting tired we'll take a minute and we'll be right back when it's done okay that's just about where I want it 
that, we still have to add some cream. I'm using a cup of half and half, actually, instead of cream today. A little less fattening. that I didn't emulsify Oops, here. Oops, sorry. And there you go. It smells good. It looks great. Really nice and thick cream and mushroom soup. We'll serve it up in just a minute. Be right back. Okay, so our soup has heated through after we put the cream in and it is ready to serve. I've made a sandwich that I love with this. It's a throwback to when I was growing up. Uh, roast beef, ham, pickles, mayonnaise. Usually I put it on pumpernickel, but this is on lightly toasted pumpernickel rice swirl because that's all they had. So it's a shout out to Pal's Cabin when I was growing up. Um, cream and mushroom soup and the PC special, which was their sandwich. It is amazing. So here's the soup. Really nice and thick. Very tasty. Nick loves it. And I usually serve it just like Pal's Cabin did. Nick, this is mine because I know you don't like it. With a dollop of sour cream in the middle. A little more. All right, get off, there we go. So, premium mushroom soup with a, my version of a PC special sandwich. Enjoy.